In this learning module, we will consider the ways in which Spotfire combination charts may be used to visualize data, including their utility in the comparison of values organized into different series. The key attribute of these visualizations is the ability to display lines superimposed upon bars. In fact, the answer to the question, when do I need to use a combination chart, is when you wish to examine some values in the form of bars and other values in the form of a line. Look for the Series By selector in the legend in order to select which values are displayed as lines and which are displayed as bars. You can also elect appropriately contrasting colors for each. Let's look at a quick demonstration involving a Spotfire analysis where combination charts have already been configured. Use Open File in order to locate the file with Interpreting Combination Charts in the title. Click Open and agree to the terms and conditions of use. The underlying data table in this analysis represents purchase information collected from our chain of Megamart department stores. Our initial intent is to examine the clothing purchases made by customers at individual stores, identified by store numbers ranging between 1 and 84. Therefore, a combination chart has been configured which displays a bar whose height represents the count of customers shopping at each store number. And a line has been displayed which indicates the total clothing purchase amount made by those customers. Each series is displayed on a separate scale, and you can see that the visual element's color matches the corresponding scale labels. The stores have been sorted based upon the clothing purchase values, increasing from left to right, and a zoom slider has been added, which makes it easier to focus on a particular region of the plot and identify those stores where customers made high clothing purchases relative to the count of customers, and those stores where the clothing purchase amount was not as high as would be expected given the count of customers at that store. While this combination chart contains only two series, on the next page, you can see that eight different series have been defined and that bars, or lines, reflect values from the underlying data table which have been grouped at the annual level. In this case, the count of customers has been represented as a line, and that line is stepped at each value, rather than just connecting the dots, which gives us a better view to compare the bar heights relative to the horizontal plane created by the step line for each annual customer count value. You might also notice that while the annual purchase values from each department have been set to occupy the same scale, the count of customers is displayed on a different scale. 